What's going on guys, it's Emperor here, and welcome back to a new video. So, about a month ago, uh, well, let's see, it's December 7th right now. Uh, on November 11th, Skyrim from Bethesda Games released their anniversary update. And it's hard to believe it has been 10 years since Skyrim came out. Um, and in this anniversary update, there was so many things added, and I know probably just like you you spent a lot of time playing Skyrim I can safely say I put four digit hours into it and I enjoyed every single second of it but within these massive updates there was one thing that really intrigued me the most and that is Skyrim survival now Skyrim survival is well basically what you would think you're surviving in Skyrim. You're set out into the frozen tundra. You have to craft armor to keep yourself warm. Uh, you have to stand by a fire to keep yourself warm. You have to eat. You have to sleep. You can't fast travel. That's right. You can't just open up the map and fast travel all willy-nilly to whatever area you want to. So, that's what we're going to be doing. In this video in particular, we're just going to be going over all the rules and everything that is in Skyrim Survival. If you're new here and you like the video, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button if you'd like. Uh, if you're somebody who's watched my videos before, thank you very much for coming to this one. And if you liked it, please hit a thumbs up there as well. Without further ado, guys, let's roll that intro. All right, guys, so we found an article on Screen Rant, uh, basically what Skyrim's Survival Mode changes are and why they're great. Uh, this, was published, this was published back in May, so they definitely had some, uh, they must have had some knowledge of this beforehand. So we're not going to read everything verbatim, so we're, we're going to try our best to... Uh, to not do that because this is a not a super long article but i don't want to spend 50 minutes on a video <laughs> where i'm just reading so all right let's just get into it uh when dragons roam the skies vampires where was prowl at night the prov uh draugr infested crypts to fight through uh skyrim was unforgiving for world from the start it really was because i feel like whenever we all first started playing uh after playing oblivion the big world of skyrim would kind of like was a little intimidating uh, survival mode's a new added mod on Bethesda's Creation Club. Instead of enhancing the hostile creatures, amps up the environment into deadly obstacles to be overcome. I like that too because, well, I'll read through this and then I'll give my take on the article. Uh, playable in any setting, mod transforms Skyrim, uh, turning the Arctic tundra, glacial caves, freezing waters to Tamriel's uh, north, northernmost region to the hazardous terrain. So the reason why I like this is... Whenever you played Skyrim, you didn't really have to worry about the elements. I mean, it was literally just the creatures you had to worry about. Like, it could be snowing and you'd be barefoot and it wouldn't really matter. Nothing would really happen. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be much of a worry, but... I mean, except for armor rating. But other than that... Yeah, like, kind of swimming in the water with, like, no shirt on while it's a blizzard outside. Uh, I don't... I don't think any of us really want to do that, but... All right, upon escaping Helgen, uh, Skyrim players will have four factors to consider. Hunger, fatigue, cold, and warmth. The new warmth rating system, or uh, it doesn't say system. In Skyrim survival mode, mod measures the Dragonborn's protection against the elements. Consider the snowy terrain. Uh, survival mode can be considered one of the most lore-friendly mods. I'm going to talk about that. Uh, eating hot food and wearing thicker clothes become increasingly important when roaming high altitudes and diving into icy water. When cold, move speeds decrease, thief skill, pickpocket, uh, lockpicking are more difficult. And at the highest level of cold, the dragonborn will freeze to death. Okay, that's, uh, that's a little bit too intense. But I think we've been all wanting like, like a lore-friendly thing. Because I know when I first started playing, and now you may be in the same boat as me, uh, 
you really wanted to kind of like have a nice like immersion to the game like more than just like oh i'm the leader of the companions or i have the richest house in solitude you know now get to combat the elements so you get to be more immersed into a game you've probably been immersed into and you've if you're watching this video you've probably played it a lot or maybe you're just interested in coming back to it but i like this part here about the thief skills like the lockpicking and the pickpocketing being lower and cold because your hands are cold your hands aren't gonna work as much so that makes perfect sense that was actually it's a small thing but i really like it Okay, going too long between meals and Skyrim uh, will limit the amount of stamina available to the player. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, carrying a supply of food is vital, but carrying weight is also reduced. Ooh. Uh, best method is to prepare hot food at cooking pots. Just one way to make it interesting after beating it. Substituting salt for fire salt. Alright, just basically creating the meal. Food poisoning is now possible. Oh, boy. Okay, so... This probably wouldn't want to be a thing that you would do maybe at like level one. Maybe it's something like when you like you beat the game, you've beaten everything, and this kind of gives you like that little bit of an extra challenge. Now when we're when we do the challenge, we're doing it straight out of the get-go, so. Um Yeah, so let's go to the next one. Resting after Skyrim's long carriage rides is a new consideration. Okay. All right, we're just gonna do like the first paragraph here. Uh, travel plays a big role. Uh, since players cannot fast travel until they've been discovered in terms of the immersion, well, the fast travel is better than Morrowind. The mod places the importance of being outside in the harsh wilderness and seeking shelter. Uh, it's kind of like whenever you come out of Helgen Cave or the cave in Helgen and you go down to, you go down the path and there's that left road you take that leads you to the standing stones. Like, right over that hill, there's, like, a little fisherman's hut. Uh, a guy who poaches the fish. So, maybe, like, that? Or maybe not, because it's, like, just a tiny little shack. I don't think you'd stay warm in there for long, because there's, like, no doors to it. I don't know. Uh, the closest player can come to fast traveling is riding dragons. Or riding carriages. As always, riding carriages cost gold. Depending on the distance, Skyrim player may rave. Oh, okay. So the further distance you travel, you're going to be tired. You're going to be cold and hungry. That makes perfect sense. So if you're going from, like, let's say, Whiterun all the way to Markarth, you're probably going to be one hungry boy. Let me tell you there. All right. While Skyrim's survival mod uh, make the game more challenging, there's also ways to gain a slight advantage. You could eat Nord, for example can okay yeah because they have the uh the passive that makes perfect sense uh ellen races can better resist fatigue some sky races have more advantages i don't know if i'd want to play one with a super advantage uh mod's new racial passive extends to reducing the penalties to stamina or hunger the argonian can't suffer from food poisoning oh Oh, so you can, wait, I could be a vampire and I could just feed on victims to get, oh, dude, that is so nuts. What? Okay, we're definitely, I'm definitely going to have fun with this. Uh, survival mode adds gameplay features to transform Skyrim to a video game more akin to the Lawn Dark or Subnautica. For some players, this change may detract from the classic Skyrim experience. Besides the aforementioned major changes, it also means no passive health regen. Oh, boy. Depilitating diseases reduce bonuses from standing stones. Oh. So, you level up by sleeping, which is what you did in, uh, the, yeah, the previous games. Uh, Sky... Whenever I just leveled up, I'm thinking, what? Uh, public shrines only bestow benefits if the player makes a gold offering. Okay. I like this. I like this a lot. Well, Skyrim survival mode mod isn't for everybody. It's actually been a long time coming. Very much so. Skyrim is enjoying more longevity than ESO. I have played ESO, and then, I don't know, it didn't feel... It didn't feel like an Elder Scrolls game, you know? Whenever, like, you play Morrowind, 
you feel like you're in an Elder Scrolls game. You play, you know, Daggerfall, you're in an Elder Scrolls game, Oblivion, you know, anything. You feel like you're in an Elder Scrolls game and you feel so immersed. Where ESO, you, you kind of don't really feel immersed that much. All right, uh, it's mods, just one factor. The Frostfall mod that Survival Mode was based on remains one of the most popular and official. Okay, it's encouraging to see Bethesda pay attention to community interests. Absolutely, because I think everybody knows Bethesda is not one to... Now, I'm not knocking them. I love their games. Uh, community interest is a big word right here. Of course, any successful business... How, how are you making the money? You're making it off your players. Now, me... I, I don't know if they're just trying to ride Skyrim into the ground. How many 50,000 re-releases have they done? And how many 50,000 re-releases have I bought? Yeah. But it's good to see them, you know, this anniversary update. Uh, I watched a video on stream about it, and I was completely blown away. Literally the first time that, like, I've seen... Like, I felt like I was, like, I'm in an MMO. Whenever I play that for some reason. But uh, Bethesda, pay attention to community interests, particularly if it has any bearing on the design of Elder Scrolls 6. Which we have been thinking about Elder Scrolls 6 for how long? We still don't have it. I really hope we get that soon because I would absolutely love an Elder Scrolls 6. You know, I feel like in the next like 15, 20 years, uh, I'll have a kid and hopefully there'll be into video games as well and they'll be at that age where they'll be like daddy daddy i want to play a game and i'll give them skyrim they'll be like is there any more I'll be like huh, no son or huh, no daughter we are still waiting for elder scrolls 6 my luck the day i'm on my deathbed is the day they release that damn game <laughs> all right guys uh we're gonna be starting this challenge up here on the next the next video that we're coming out with so um, yeah, I'm real interested to try it. I've never really done a survival game. I guess if you count the WoW Hardcore Challenge, but it's kind of a different game than this is, so... I'm a little bit intimidated, but I'm very excited for it. So if you liked the video today, leave it a thumbs up. Uh, helps me out tremendously. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter or Twitch, my links will be down in the description below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And guys, we will see you next time. Peace.